Pig production units generate organic and inorganic waste daily. Waste products such as urine, feces, and unused feed are organic waste, and an efficient work plan must be established to allow the conversion of these into agricultural fertilizers. Inorganic waste such as needles, syringes, vaccine bottles, semen tubes, or containers and paper should be separated and classified for proper disposal, including biological waste, paper products, plastics, and glass. The protection of the environment and the health status of the farm must be a priority during the design and execution of a plan to remove waste from the farm. These important processes must be developed in accordance with the biosecurity program of the farm, where the manager and farm owner are responsible for ensuring the protocols comply with the PIC biosecurity standards and with local environmental and industrial safety regulations. Additionally, the assigned employees must be trained at hiring and receive updates annually on the proper management of waste. For manure storage, deep pits and lagoons with unidirectional flow are acceptable. Water recirculation systems are not allowed. Where feasible, every multiplication flow and gene transfer center should have dedicated equipment for agitation, pumping, transportation, and application of manure. In the events that service providers are contracted or non-dedicated equipment is used, all non-dedicated equipment must be washed, disinfected, dried, and inspected before each use. Service providers must respect the required downtime and receive biosecurity training. For the flow of equipment and operators, a dynamic biosecurity pyramid must be followed where service is provided to farms with a higher health status and genetic level first. Removal of manure from deep pits or lagoons must be scheduled in advance, and all farm personnel must be notified. Service providers must schedule manure removal in advance and register in the logbook. Both people and equipment must comply with the same downtime requested by the farm. A strict clean dirty line must be established and communicated to the people who manage the waste removal and also to farm personnel. Cross traffic of people and manure equipment must be avoided. In addition, during the pumping and transport of manure, it's important to avoid cross traffic of vehicles, such as pig trailers or feed trucks. For PIC farms, manure should be applied on adjacent land whenever possible. It's recommended that ownership maintains control or close communication with the agricultural field surrounding the farm to avoid application of manure from other farms. Ideally, manure should be injected into the soil to avoid aerosolization of potential infectious agents and minimize odors. The biosecurity of a farm is everyone's responsibility. Understanding, respecting, and rigorously performing each of these procedures minimizes the risk to animal health and well-being. Please comply with these good practices.